How you doing everyone? Turkey Buzzard here. Hope you're having a good day. Well, I'm at Merkwater Construction Site and I'm here to do a LUTs build. Now, I've never done a LUTs build before, so I hope you'll have some patience with me, but I'm going to try it and see how it comes out. Now, as I look around here, you'll notice that there is no trash, no old wrecked buildings. I have the Scrap That Settlement mod and it allowed me to get rid of everything here. I also have the extended borders mod which allows me to build outside the borders. Before we get started, got a couple things I want to show you here. First of all, there's dog meat. I take him with me everywhere I go because he's my buddy. Also I set up some turrets. I put up 10 turrets each at 14 defense so I have a total of 140 defense and I did this because the Mire Alert Queen has been known to respawn and although these turrets may not kill her they will at least give me advance warning that she's here. So I set up this block and put a uh, floorboard on top of it and I set my workbench on there and this will be the starting point for my build. And before we actually get started I want to show you a couple things. Here's a couple mods I use a lot when I'm building. One is the cheat terminal. And what I'll do is I'll go down to game alterations and world manipulation. And the first thing I want to do is set my time. You'll notice that the current hour is 12 noon. I want to set it to 9 a.m. Then I'll go into the time scale and change that. Normally the time scale is set at one real minute equals 20 fallout minutes. I reset it to one minute equals one minute. That way I can build for eight hours before it gets dark. Then I'll reset the weather to clear. Another mod I use when I'm building is the Place Anywhere mod, which will allow me to change the grid snapping, the global collision, and the general snapping so I can turn them off and on as I want to. So that's it. We're going to start off with, I think, a 9 by 7 So let's get started on our build. Now for some reason, sometimes when I open my workshop mode, it doesn't show all the different uh, uh, workshop menus. They're there, it just doesn't show them. Once I click on a menu, then you'll start seeing them. But it's, you know, it's nothing. They're there. Now for the foundation blocks, I went with uh, the snap and build. And I'm going with like the green foundation blocks. I just like them because they look like they're, you know, being in a swampy area, they're going to have like moss and stuff on them. So I just decided that this green foundation was probably the best to use. And what I'm working on here is a creepy mansion. And I'm thinking that we're going to go with a 9 by 7 The mansion itself will be a 7 by 7 and then I'll have a two block width for the porch. And we'll see how that works out. And a lot of this, as I said, is just boring and repetitive. That's why I don't normally do let's builds, because I thought maybe they would be too boring for everybody. But since it was requested, that's what we're doing. Now for the flooring itself, the uh, snappy house kit has the floor I want and it's the first floor in the category and you know rather than just make you watch this I'm going to cut ahead to where I finish the floor. Now that the floor is done we've got to put in some walls so I'm going to go with the snappy house kit walls. 
and I'm going to go with the gray and white which is gray exterior with white trim but I don't worry about how these walls look because there's a whole section with wallpaper so I can change the interior and exterior walls to look like what I want them to look like now them last two sections out there are going to be porch so we're going to go across here and sometimes these walls are stubborn they'll turn in the wrong direction and they don't want to turn around but a little perseverance and stubbornness and you can get them to go where you want now you're probably wondering why I'm not putting in windows there's two reasons for that the first reason is this is actually going to be the basement level the second reason is even upstairs in the main level I start out with just walls because until I know how I'm going to divide my rooms up and put the partitions I don't know where I'm going to have the windows so I start out with just walls and then once I'm I'm sure where my windows will be then I can replace the walls with windows now we need a door in here and this door will not match but as I said I can replace the wallpaper now you're probably wondering why I'm putting a door coming into the basement level it's actually not going to be going into the basement level I'm going to put some stairs there going up but before we do that let's let's put some steps out here for the porch and I'm going to go with the snap and build and I'm going to go with the same foundation the green stuff that I used on the foundation so that the steps match and this is all pretty repetitive but since it was requested I guess we'll all suffer through this together actually I'm not suffering I enjoy doing this hopefully you enjoy watching me do it we'll see So there's the steps and this is the porch. And this is the basement level. But before we put in the ceiling here, I want to actually put a divider wall up here. Now I want to put a brick wall in here, but the problem is it's going to want to clip through the upper floor so I need to put it in first so that I can lower it just a little bit before I put the ceiling in now I believe these brick walls that I want to use are exterior walls because when you try to use them on the interior uh, they tend to glitch up through the floor just slightly I mean you know they don't stick up through the floor but you can see them glitching so what I'll do is remove these floorboards for a minute and that'll allow me to lower this wall just a tad bit. Doesn't take much. And hopefully that'll be enough so that it doesn't uh, glitch up through the floor upstairs. Now we'll put this uh, these floorboards back in. and we can put in the rest of our brick walls hopefully these will line up if they don't then uh, well notice that those are ghost images of old trees and stuff that were scrapped they're not really here they just come back as ghost images I don't know if that happens with you uh, with your games but uh, once in a while that happens it doesn't doesn't hurt anything you know it's not like they're really here they're just ghost images see those do have to be lowered just a, a tad bit but that's where the place anywhere mod comes in handy because it allows me to force these down I think they're all even across the top which means now we can start putting in our floor 
or ceiling down here, floor upstairs. But instead of making you watch me go through all this, I'm just going to cut away and uh, come back when it's finished. Now that the floor is put in, the ceiling, whatever, you'll notice I removed one of these walls. I'm going to put a secret door in there, but we'll worry about that a little later. Right now we need some stairs going up, and the snappy house kit stairs are L-shaped. They have a landing, and uh, they don't fit well for this particular purpose, so I'm using the snap and build stairs. The only problem with these is they stick up a hair above the floor and leave like a lip there, and I don't like that. So we've got to do some adjusting there. And again, this is where the Place Anywhere mod comes in handy because I can lower this and the Place Anywhere mod will allow it to go to where I want it. If I can get it lined up where I want it anyway. Man, I hate the sensitivity of these controllers sometimes. is not sticking up above the floor now. And sometimes it gets frustrating getting stuff to snap in where it belongs. I mean, because this stairway is right tight against the wall, uh, it's hard to get it to snap in. And then sometimes when it does try to snap in, I'm not ready for it, so. Now, I'm going to put in a couple small pieces of floor here because I want to create an entryway. So what we'll do is we'll put in some small floor pieces. That way I'll have something for a wall to snap to there. If I can find the right wall anyway. No, now I got the red one. There we go. Now it's just getting it to snap there. Sometimes you have to play around with it, you know, uh, spin it around in the other direction or move to a different angle. There. Now I can put my full floor back in here. finish putting up these walls and we'll have a narrow entryway going upstairs. So now we have the narrow entryway going upstairs to the first floor. And I left a hole over here for another set of stairs, so I got to put another set of stairs in here, but I'm not going to make you watch me do that. I'll be back when it's done. So I finished the other stairway up, and now I'm finishing this one. And uh, we've got two stairways. One is an entryway, and the other is just a stairway into the basement. So now we need to put up walls again. And this is a, uh, technically the first floor of the mansion. So we're going to put up more walls, and again, they'll be the same as the other walls. And once again, it's going to be very repetitive until we get into other parts of the build. So rather than make you suffer through it, uh, I'm just going to fast forward ahead again here. Did I forget to mention that I was also going to put in the ceiling? 
I just figured that everybody wouldn't want to watch me continually putting in walls and ceilings. It's the same thing over and over. So anyways, that's pretty much it for the first floor. Uh, I think I'm going to end this video for this week. I think considering that this is my very first uh, Let's Build, that uh, I got a lot done in the small amount of time we had. Uh, we got the, the foundation in. We got the basement done. We put in a first floor. Next week, we'll work on dividing some rooms up, maybe adding a second floor. But uh, do me a favor. Hit me up in those comments and let me know what you think. Would you rather I stick to settlement tours? Do you enjoy the Let's Build? Do you have suggestions for improvements? But other than that, I really want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next week.